<laughs> That's good. We have a little laugh, and you can edit that out. So, hi, my name is uh, Ted Clarkson. I'm the mayor of Medicine Hat, and I'm standing in front of, or in between, Canada's first solar concentrating thermal uh, steam generator project uh, in the beautiful, sunniest city in Canada, Medicine Hat, Alberta. Welcome to Green Energy Futures, your guide to the green energy revolution that's already underway. Hi, David Dodge here for Green Energy Futures. Concentrated solar thermal power has been the pace setter for solar energy around the world. Giant projects in Europe and California were the world's first large scale solar projects. Now, Medicine Hat, the sunniest city in Canada, is the first in Canada to install a concentrating solar plant. We have more hours of sunshine than Miami, Florida. Um, we are Canada's sunniest city, and even today you're here, it's, it's quite a relatively sunny day. You can pretty much count on it, uh, the sun, just about all the time here in Medicine Hat. It's one of the great features of our... I mean, we're kind of a hidden gem. Most people wouldn't even know. Even our closest neighbors, Calgarians, don't realize just how much nicer it is and how much warmer it is down here and how much more sunshine we have. That's Ted Clugston, the mayor of Medicine Hat and a big supporter of clean energy and energy efficiency. A project that he championed, the Hat Smart program, was featured in our pilot episode. But when we're talking about concentrated solar thermal energy, we're not talking about a typical solar panel. And the best way I get people to understand this project is I say when you were a kid and you had a magnifying glass and you focus it and you burnt ants, well that's kind of what this thing does. It focuses the sun on to just and heats an oil. So it's not photovoltaic. Rows of curved metal panels concentrate the sun's light onto a collector, which superheats a fluid, which eventually creates steam. We got a tour of the site from the manager of electricity generation in Medicine Hat, Keith Petal. Okay, what we're looking at here is the steam generator, otherwise known as the kettle. As you can see from the pipes here, the uh, transferred fluid, the oil, comes down from the concentrated solar project, goes into this kettle or the heat exchanger, and basically what it does is transfer of thermal energy uh, from the oil into the water, the feed water, and then produce steam and the steam is then going back into our HRSG, our heat recover steam generator, our existing steam generator, and this is how it integrates into our, our combined cycle facility to produce power. When we visited the site, it was almost completed, which is why the solar collectors are pointed down. This one megawatt, nine million dollar demonstration plant is at the highest latitude that a solar thermal plant has ever been built. It's also attached to a 204 megawatt natural gas plant, giving it a helping hand when the sun shines. And what you'll be doing is uh, basically, uh, you know, using obviously the, the, the free energy from the sun to produce the thermal energy, and then we won't have to use as much uh, fossil fuel, natural gas, to produce the, the output, the, 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 the megawatt needed uh, for the facility. The project didn't come cheap, but it did get financial help from the province of Alberta and a carbon mitigation technology fund. The high cost is the premium paid to be an early adopter. Still, Medicine Hat, a town that owns its own natural gas utility, remains committed to renewable energy. We, of course, uh, have a, a, the first private-public partnership wind farm inside the city limits in all of Canada. Uh, which we partnered with a private company, and as well this project. And um, it just, you know what, you can debate it all day long. It's the right thing to do. The three turbines in Medicine Hat's 6 megawatt Box Springs wind farm brings Medicine Hat's renewable energy mix up to 6%, making the city a leader in Alberta. So, how have the residents responded? I have been called a genius, um, a leader, uh, someone with foresight, and I've been called an idiot. Uh, and I'm going to bankrupt the city with these projects that I keep pushing. And, and the council has supported. And so there's, there, there's, there's both sides. But what I am finding is the acceptance is coming along. Albertans are, are you know, we're, we're, the, we're the fastest growing economy in the country. We're entrepreneurs. And we, you know, we recognize that we, everything we have is on a non-renewable resource and we just can't always have all of our eggs in one basket. And while the one megawatt concentrating solar plant is new to Canada and expensive, 
The six megawatt wind project will supply electricity to Medicine Hat at a very competitive nine cents a kilowatt hour. There's lots more information on concentrated solar thermal and Medicine Hat's clean energy programs in our blog. Also, check out our photos and our podcast at greenenergyfutures.ca. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and tell your friends. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge. If you liked this episode, you should watch Net Zero 101, our video on the burgeoning Net Zero home movement. Subscribe today. We produce a new video every two weeks.